grateful to have her. Good afternoon to you. Good Nicole afternoon Lamont. to you. <laughs> a very good Hi, friend of Gospel JFM. I am doing well. It's always a pleasure seeing you and just, you know, you know, you sharing in Gospel JFM. I don't think there's a time we call on you where you say yes. Now I, we, we feel <laughs> obligated to you. <laughs> well listen you guys have been amazing you know you, you've always been there for kimola brownlow ministries international and so anything i can do to help you know it's always a pleasure so thank you guys so much for having me and i consider it a pleasure to be here i love that i love that and you know when i when i think about kimola i think about wafif as well and and then we had uh evangelist taylor earlier who was with us sharing, and I just know the level of, of, of training and work that goes into each and every soul at that ministry. I want you to use this opportunity, Kimola Brown Law. You know, as we wrap up, we're closing off the year 2021. We can list the number of things we've gone through. And for the Lord to be challenging us like this, to tell us to release a seed and to release something and to give up what sometimes we can't even find. How important it is to be obedient in a season that is Well, here is what I'll say um, as it concerns that. As you said that, I thought about David when he went down to the threshing floor. He went to purchase a threshing floor. And, you know, because he was the king, the gentleman who owned the threshing floor said to him, you know, don't give me any money for it. Take it because you are the king. And David said, I will not give to the Lord what doesn't cost me anything. Um, all of us have been through a tough season, the entire world, as a matter of fact. And it may seem like, you know, why are why is God requesting a seed at this time? Um, you know, knowing that everything knowing everything that has gone on and knowing everything that we've been through but what i can say is that god is not emotional about you know where we are in our lives he's not emotional when it comes to us obeying him god's word is standard and when we think about the fact that he is god and he is good and he is still doing what he's doing and he's upholding his end of the bargain and he is still providing and he's still doing his part to make sure that we are okay and we are doing what we are doing and be able to get through our lives god is not looking at us and saying well oh you know you don't have it today or you don't you you, you know you're going through something so you don't have it no he wants us to obey him and i think a lot of people you know, because we are emotional beings. And I think a lot of people process it as if to say, God is going to feel sorry for us and say, oh, don't give in this time because you are you are not in the position to do so. And I know this might come across a little bit harsh, but the reality is that God gives us responsibilities as his children. And we should honor God. We should honor God. It, it, it doesn't matter where we are or what we are going through. Look at the widow in the book of Luke. The Bible said that the woman, she had nothing. She was a widow. Her husband died and left her. And she came to the, to, to, to the service that Jesus was hosting and she gave her last. Jesus could have said to her in the back of you know our minds, we might, have, we might think that Jesus could have said to her, well, don't give because you're a widow and you don't have anything, no. He allowed her to give just the same. And you know what he said? He said she has given more than anybody else who has given. Or because they gave out of their much, she gave out of a little. The harsh reality is that it's not about how much you give. It's about that you give. And when you give to God, because God is not, God is not, um, a man that he should lie so he's not gonna go back on his word when you give he's gonna give back to you press down shaking together running over point blank period and i think a lot of people get disappointed after they've sown after they've given and because they don't see that quick re reciprocity because they don't see that that the blessing coming in in an instant because 
the world has, you know, made it seem as if we shouldn't wait for anything. We, we, you know, we should get it the moment we want it and, and at the click of a button. But that's not God's kingdom. God's kingdom is that you're, you wait on God. There are moments when he does a quick and a suddenly and an immediate. But there are moments when God will say, wait. And a lot of times we don't realize that we are being blessed simply because we don't pay attention. We don't pay attention long enough to see that God really is upholding his word. When you think about the story in the book of Second Kings when Elisha went to the woman and told her to bake me a cake first, the woman said, oh, but I'm going to bake this and me and my son are going to eat it and we're going to die. Elijah said, no, bake me a cake first. So when we put God first, as a matter of fact, we are called upon to put God first. And it wasn't an emotional moment. It was for that woman to understand that there is a principle that you must activate in order for you to see the hand of God in your life. And I don't want you to process this carnally because there's nothing carnal about it. It's not you paying God to bless you. This is about you understanding principle. Unless you turn on the light, the light is not going to come on. Unless you turn on the pipe, the pipe is not going to come on. So there's a principle in sowing. There's a principle in giving. And when you do your part, God is going to do his part. No questions about it. So honor God. And what better place to sow in than a radio station? This is the season for global impact. This is the season for God to, to, to do what he's doing on a digital stage. And it's time for us as the church. You know, Avagay, I just finished a series with my church um, talking about the, the church, the history and the heritage. And then I looked at in one of the messages, the inheritance versus the heritage. Because as children of God, we are blessed. God blesses us. And the inheritance, we get to choose what we do with the blessing in our other. But when it comes to the heritage, that's something you yep. have to work to preserve. And as the church, Whoa. we have got, we complain that, oh, you know, the church is not being heard. The church is not being seen. But the church is not the building. The church is not the pastor alone. The church is the people. And we have got to stand up and protect and promote and provide for the sustenance of the heritage so let's make gospel j a big let's make this station big yeah. i mean sometimes Ava, i listen to you in the morning and you know when you drop them word the girl may i tell you you're talking on the spirit and i'm so grateful for what oh, god is God. doing with this radio station so let's not let's not process it through our carnality let's and let's not only do it for the inheritance let's not only do it because we're gonna be blessed understand that this is bigger than us because there are some things that gospel ja will be able to do that we can't we won't do in a lifetime but be having the church on the radio and having the church being bigger and louder and more present what better way to celebrate the kingdom of God right, than to make this radio station. I appreciate bigger. that. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And the fact and what you just said, and of course the study that you're doing right now with the heritage preserving it, because the inheritance is yours, and you're gonna get that. But when it comes to the heritage, you have to preserve it. And there's something here that we too have to preserve as it relates to gospel. We have to ensure that we come together and preserve this. We have to ensure we preserve. One more thing, because we're almost out of time, is the fact you say it's not a sorry for business or a pity business with the Lord. You know, you know how many times Kimo will let the Lord be sorry for me in that moment? Black God, you're sure. <laughs> I'm telling you're you. Talk to God and be like, God, you know, me, are you a friend, God? Are you know, say, me not have this at all. And God say, yeah, but in other words, I'm still telling you to do this. And say, God, understand and like, 
you put on a whole tantrum and a whole pity party this show got a vibe. Telling you. But no matter what you are doing, his words still remain. These instructions still remain and he's expecting you to carry it out still. So oh, yes, yeah. he sees where you may not have that thing, but he is still expecting you to give that thing. How is this so? Because he's God who is going to provide that thing. And you have to move out of self-pity and stop living beneath what we, what you have access to and access that which God is showing before you. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah. So as we yeah. sow, and we have Kimona Brown Low here, we are sowing. We're sowing. We know we have something to preserve. We no, God said this. We're not pitying ourselves. We think we only have two thousand dollars left in our account. We only we just get um paid, and we only have this amount left. Or whatever. I'm not pitying myself because I know who I am, and oh, God yeah. is not gonna be emotional about it. He's not gonna be emotional oh, no. about what He just told you. He's not going to go back on it and say, "Oh, oh Lord, I forgot. I forgot Nancy that no." You never get paid that time. <laughs> God is still no. saying what He's saying and requiring what he's what he what he requires love, love that wow no no we we, we have a short yeah. time but you know i can't help myself because you're a, a music minister so i'm gonna want something from you i want you to find something that can get us to move, touch the core of god's people who have done on gospel jfm radio those on 91.7 those on online wherever but they are Kimola Brown Low online right now, referring to you in song, and God is about to move as you sow, even now, in this moment, in this song, in this word that she brought today. Go ahead, Kimola. You know, I'm writing a new song and I'm going to bust a piece on Gospel J.A. Can I bust a piece? I'm going bust to a bust piece. A piece. <laughs> and to me, love God. Oh, them can't put them on for me. Oh, and that's why me praise God. Because mm, them can't put them on for me. Oh, some people not like how me do it, but them can't just hold a seat. Shake me head, kiss me teeth, me not again no more. Wait, all right, it's coming. <laughs> we were waiting on more Kimola. Thank you so very much for the blessing to us today. Kimola Brown Low, of course. You reside now in the USA, right? Yes, I'm in Florida. Come see me at my church, Walk with FL. <laughs> yeah. uh, honey, my next visit to Florida. Somebody please. Please put me up in a floor. I will be coming to walk <laughs> Thank you so very much for the invitation. Of course. I'll be at the front <laughs> end. Thank you very much. No. Kimola Brown, love blessings bless to you, you always. Thanks for being a blessing to Gospel JAF. No problem. Um, <laughs> God bless you guys. We are giving. We are giving. It's required of us. And getting emotional about it. He already instructed you what to do already told you what to do so even when you are crying concerning it god is not by that his instruction still stands it's not cold he's just standing by his instruction still yeah he still requires it he requires your obedience yeah, yeah because he's your provider so you, he's, you don't need to worry what are you crying over so he's not going to be moved by that He's gonna be faith. Oh. 